hundreds of years. Dreaming of a new home. But when we finally awoke, our dreams of peace were shattered. Welcome back. the new Pathfinder. This is incredible. It's acting like a gravity well. I have a bad feeling. We're the aliens. My god. I'm veteran game developer John Vanderswet, and I'm excited to show you today what we've been working on for the last few months in absolute secrecy. Identity is an MMORPG that's unlike any other you've ever played. It's not based on levels or skill progression, it's based on you, your character, and what you want to do with it. Identity is all about giving absolute freedom in a world that's full of other people and fun things to do. We've gotten rid of most of the AI and replaced it with people. It's people who are driving down the street, and it's people who run for governor. It's people who play as police officers and fight crime. You'll find sports, car racing, paintball matches, and more others than I have time to list. If living off the land is your sort of thing, you make a pretty good living hunting or fishing. Identity is all about the freedom to do what you want to do, when you want to do it. While Identity is an MMORPG in most ways, we're going to be offering you the option to rent your own servers too. So if you want a different, more specialized style of gameplay than our official servers have, such as maybe hardcore role-playing or some kind of like endless action, server operators are going to have control over hundreds of features to customize what they want. Alright, you want to have the suspect in custody, nobody is coming to the perimeter, it's still a hot scene. If you're somebody that likes to take the quiet route, you can form a business and play the market, or you could take the other way. You could become a criminal, you could rob people, you could rob banks, you could steal cars. Everything is open for player interaction. The land identity is enormous with all sorts of landscapes from cities, farms, and wilderness. There really is so much more I wish I could show you with this, but we've only just gotten started here.
Imagine a game without limits. A world where you can build anything from spaceships to orbital stations. Explore. Craft. Trade and conquer all in one universe, shared by everyone at the same time. Forge your collective story. This is your world. Rebuild civilization together. Dual Universe. Support us on Kickstarter now. city and just see lights. I see lives, Agent, burning with hope for a better future. But what happens when evil comes out of the shadows? We do what we always do. We go to work. Crack 
Countdown 3 is set in a dangerous new city. A once glistening metropolis overrun by violent crime and corruption. Life in Gangland is an intricate web of dangerous interconnections. A dynamic ecosystem with multiple moving pieces. A criminal hierarchy to be dismantled any way you choose. Crackdown 3 will blow up the way you play games today by introducing a revolutionary new multiplayer experience using 100% destructible environments. By connecting to the Microsoft Cloud, play with 20 times the computational power of your Xbox One and experience unrelenting destruction and mayhem. It's not just what you can do with a gun. It's the opportunities you can create with destruction. Having reached the generator, Midas can disable it to kill the lights throughout the camp. Nomad has activated his night vision to get closer to El Pozole. Now while enemies don't have night vision, they will become suspicious as to why the lights are suddenly out. Now, we need to extract our target from the camp. The enemies are now alerted by the noise and are trying to find its origin. Holt is passing a rebel prison cage. The rebels are another faction in the game. They have their own conflict with the Santa Blanca, so they'll spontaneously engage whenever they get the chance. Nomad has just put our target into the truck and is moving towards the exit. Weaver is liberating another group of rebels. This camp is now erupting into a full gunfight between the rebels and the Santa Blanca. And to provide further disruption, we blow that C4 we placed earlier.
Bikes down. People see me and think they're safer, but it's not really me they're seeing. Probably for the best. Knowing everything hinges on a guy from Queens sounds as scary as it feels. <laughs> no pressure, right? 